Hi, hello, I'm Bishop Philip, I'm the Bishop of Burnley. And I'm Bishop Jill and I'm the Bishop of Lancaster. It's really, we're really sorry not to be able to join you on your Vision Champions Days, but a great big thank you to you for all that you do across our parishes to enthuse and engage and lead when it comes to Vision 2026. Bishop Jill, Vision 2026 has been a great resource really for our parishes. What have you seen that's excited you in our parishes over the last few weeks? Well, it's, uh, my experience is that a lot of the buried treasure is out there in parishes and I keep discovering more and more of it. And so something that I keep stumbling across at the moment is people just having a go at starting a new local congregation, often on a Sunday. These often, often aren't big, big affairs really, but they're often connecting with parents and children through school networks or whatever in ways that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Fantastic. So thought, Something almost any parish can do. And I met some really lovely, bubbly, bouncy young people in Blackpool very recently and they were raving on about a youth group that had been started by their incumbent happening in his vicarage with, with helpers there. They, they're telling me a lot about the cake. But what's lovely was how articulate they're becoming about their faith because of it. Not least because of older members of the congregation coming and speaking to them. And it's just lovely. Again, something any parish can do, gathering 8, 10, 12 teenagers together to think about faith, have a nice time, play games, eat some cake. It was just really good and lovely and inspiring thing. But Bishop Jill, it's a bit all changed, isn't it, the Diocese of Blackburn? Bishop Julian, who's led us for nine years, he's going to be retiring in July, may already retire by the time you watch this film. So do you think we should just stop everything? Should we just put the pause button on and do nothing for a year or so? Yeah, I was just wondering whether we could have a nice holiday somewhere maybe, with the Bishop's Fund. Is that okay? Maybe a cruise? Maybe yeah, how about that? cruise? Well, yeah, yeah nice. But we probably ought not to say it on video. So okay. I think for the purposes of this video, I think my experience is in parishes, often in vacancy, there can be really creative times where people step up and step beyond what they've done normally. And that's my big prayer for this next season, this probably a year of vacancy, is that we'll see a new life bubbling up. And so it's really timely that you're getting together as vision champions at this moment. And the great thing is that uh, Bishop Julian has set such a clear lead with the vision and its four strands. And also lying behind that, our commitment to the, to the parish church and to maintaining clergy mm. numbers. Now that commitment, of course, it means, it means some work, it has some cost, doesn't it? it? It means generosity, it means keeping an eye on vocations, it means, it means also being more and more willing and happy to share our faith so more and more people meet with Jesus Christ. But I think that's a really exciting commitment that we've made, that we're not going to shrink the local church, we're going to grow it. Yeah, absolutely. And when we did the, the consultations about the new bishop, that was a, a thing that came through really clearly, was people have really appreciated Vision 2026 and want to see that momentum kept behind it and also appreciated a sense of family across the diocese that different traditions of all sorts of shapes and sizes are able to flourish together. So let's just think quickly about our four vision strands shall we? That sounds a good idea. Okay. I think you're going to go first, is that I right? I am, I'm going to go first with, with, <laughs> with, with, with growing disciples, that's our first vision strand. Lots, of hap lots happening in this area of work that may be of interest to you as vision champions. We're talking to you from beautiful Worley Abbey, which just a few days ago was relaunched by the Archbishop of York as a centre for Christian discipleship. It's a fantastic facility for parishes to come and use for meetings, for retreats. And also here they'll be relaunching our Roots of Faith course, which is a great way for people to learn more about their faith, to go in a bit deeper, learning about the scriptures and church history and so on. So that's some really good things going on in the field of discipleship. Mm. Yeah, and, and being witnesses, um, there's the new local congregations. If you'd like to join the Beacon course, please do look at Being Witnesses online and then you can join that. That's of course run by myself and by Bishop Philip um, for Thursday evenings. Also, I've, I've loved to see sort of parishes having a go at like a parish mission weekend and we can give you some support with that and people just trying events that connect um, beyond uh, with those kind of warm contacts that we've got and finding ways to put the gospel across in, in ways that people understand. And when it comes to growing leaders, well, of course, we need, a, need our vocation radars set to 10 because we can't maintain clergy numbers without those vocations coming through. But of course, that's not just ordained vocations, that's lay vocations. And our authorised lay ministry course run for us by Amy White has now really bedded in. And it's proving a really good way for lay people to take on extra responsibilities in the local church, perhaps working with children or young people or as pastoral assistants or leading worship or leading small groups. It's really worth looking up on mm. the website. Absolutely. And then if you've got a passion for children and young people, um, there's exciting uh, opportunities with the Launchpad course that will give you kind of just some, some tips to have a go at starting some youth work. There's our amazing school family, of course. Mm. And there's also the learning community as well um, run to help um, connect um, youth work opportunities. Because actually, my experience is that's where some of the, the real life going for. You've just spent a week here with lots of teenagers, haven't you? Uh, Up we, uh, midnight every night. We've filled Wally Abbey. We, uh, we fit 53 young people into yeah, 17 I bedrooms which is interesting. A lot of chocolate got eaten. 
Good. I, I just um, had a nice time at home with my toes up. But um, <laughs> we have different roles as bishops in this whole thing, yeah. Anyway, Bishop, anyway, Bishop Trump, it's lovely to be with you. Sorry again we can't be with you, but we, we're going to organise something a bit nearer Christmas where we, hope we, can, we can gather you all together. Mm. So we look forward to seeing you there. Yeah. Meanwhile, Bishop Jill, why don't you pray for us? Yeah, so Vision Champions, may you know the empowering of the Spirit to spot his work, to call it into being, to call colours across our different parishes, chaplaincies and schools. And may you know the firing of his love in your hearts today and going forward. Amen. Amen.